Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome back to the Happy Heart. Thanks for clicking on this video because today I'm unboxing this. It's the Dayar screen protector and two lens caps for the GoPro Hero 6 and GoPro Hero 5 Black. And here is my GoPro Hero 5. And uh, I wanted to do this on camera because if you're like me, it's not easy to put screen protectors on stuff. I always get bubbles. You get that little bit of dust just at the last minute, just as it's laying down. It's trying to line it up with the edge. You line it close to the edge and there's a big gap on the other side, all of that. I'm gonna be doing it in real time on camera. Uh, so it might be a bit of a long video, but uh, thanks for bearing with me and hopefully you can protect your GoPro vicariously through this video. Enjoy. So this is it, the day art for GoPro Hero 6 and GoPro Hero 5 Black. As you can see, there's nothing else on the outside of the box. Ah. Oh. So this is how it arrives with two baggies for the lens caps. Hey, do you know what would really help is if I actually had my GoPro Hero <laughs> 5 Black in front of me. Here it is. You'll be able to see if the lens cap works. Uh, it's kind of rubbery. So that's good, I thought it would be a lot more rigid than that, so I guess that's going to clip on really nicely. Should we give it a go? Ta-da! And that holds on really quite tightly. It's got a sort of rubbery feel to it, and there's a nice kind of, do you call it a bevel or a bezel, uh, to lift it off. And then wipes, a wet wipe and a dry wipe with a funky font. And then you get the cloth, so you get a cloth and a wipe, which is which is nice. It's really all well, very well wrapped. And then inside this envelope, the winner is, that's a back screen protector, so that will go, with my camera? That will obviously go there. And if you're wondering what the, the material is like, it is like thin glass, it's, that's how it's described. So, you know, screen protectors I've tended to have for my phone tend to be quite flexible, but this is, I, I don't want to bend it because it will snap, I think. And it's really quite rigid. So this is here to help you uh, back. So you peel that off first and then I guess stick it on the back. And then you're done, I think. There isn't a, a peel off thing for this side. So there's just one peel off protection and then in this envelope uh, this is for the front of the camera obviously and it's just as plasticky rigid in here doo -doo -doo, you get a bit extra so as well as the front and back and cloth and wipes there are no instructions so I'm just gonna sort of wing it I have no idea what this sheet is for I'm filming this on a Canon SX60 power shot. Um, I want to be filming on the GoPro. And I'm sorry, you, you, I, I'm really aware that you're watching a video of someone just cleaning a camera screen. But I thought if I did this in real time, it would help give you confidence to put the screen on your GoPro too. Let's just do a test just to see what tolerance I've got around the outside. Okay, it's fairly, fairly tight. Here we go. So you can't even sort of lay it down as it peels back because it's so rigid. So I'm just going to do it in one go. That might be wrong, but... I've sort of missed my mark. But it's fairly easy. It's kind of gliding over the screen, which is handy. Usually when you do this with a phone it you get all kinds of bubbles. Oh no it's okay so it's you probably see this it's starting to adhere and it's so rigid that it's just one big bubble. Um, if I can just get rid of that last bubble. It's down. That's it. It's down. So I don't know if you can see I did a pretty good job there's about, a, it's off this side a bit, but I don't think I'm gonna mind that. And then the big test is to see whether or not the touch screen still works with this nice 
thick bit of plastic on the back. That seems to work. I'll let you see my settings. <laughs> so that's good, isn't it? It all seems to work really nicely. So that was my, you know, obviously my only concern was um, would I put bubbles under it and also would it still work? But it, it, it makes the screen really, you know, just as glossy. You've got to use the same wet wipe if you want to use the wet wipe with the other um, set of backing screens. So I'll put a wet wipe on here. I'm just going to do a quick practice to see how much room each side. Okay, it's a nice snug fit. Um, so I just need to get it as close to the corner as possible. Off comes the, the backing. And then I've got to try and lay it down in one go. Wow, that just slid on. With the with the back, there was like a, a big bubble that slowly disappeared as the glue uh, hit the screen, or whatever the adhesive is. And, and here, it just went straight on. There was no bubbling at all. Wow, that's great. So let's put the lens cap on. There, that is the day art for GoPro Hero 6 and GoPro Hero 5 Black. It feels really well protected. That went on very easy. That, that went on much easily than, than every other screen protector I've had to use on my phone. So this is how it looks. Let's take the lens cap off. This is how the Dayard screen protector looks actually on the camera. So you're actually seeing me from the GoPro, uh, on GoPro footage right now. I've not noticed any difference in picture quality or, or anything. Uh, so I'm now really happy that I've got uh, some protection on my lens and scratch protection on the back screen as well. I have had one small problem with it though, and I can run a clip here. It's of the Palouse aluminium alloy frame. I just could not get that back cover on. Uh, you can see the, the screen protector actually lifting off the screen. It was a hot day, but I don't feel comfortable now popping the GoPro Hero 5 in and out of that aluminium case. So I've been using this, I've been using the GoPro Hero 5 frame that comes with the camera. I know it doesn't have the hot shoe or anything and I've, I've still got to work out how to get my sound mic adapter on. But for now, this works really well with this frame. And I guess you could use the aluminium frame without the back on that would probably solve the problem but anyway i hope this video has helped if it has if you've got this far into the video thanks so much for watching uh, maybe you could send me a little signal by clicking a thumbs up to let me know that you got this far if you have any questions uh, please leave me a comment it's always good to hear from you and finally if if this video has helped you could help me by getting my subscriber count over the 1000 level i'm on 204 at the moment i don't think i'm ever going to reach a thousand subscribers but if you can get me one step closer it'll help me to keep going i've put all of my gopro hero 5 black videos into the playlist that's in the description and there's also a link for somewhere to buy the day our screen protector but anyway i hope this video has helped and good luck with putting your screen protector on i hope you don't get huge bubbles or anything uh, but l let me know how you get on thanks for watching bye can you please help my daddy get 1000 subscribers just click on his face thanks bye